Christians everywhere have heard of the Holy Land. The Holy Land is where Jesus was born, lived, suffered, died, and rose from the dead. The Holy Land is where salvation history comes to life. The land of milk and honey, the Holy Land today is both modern and ancient. Shared by the three major monotheistic religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, the Holy Land is a special place of pilgrimage and prayer. Since 1219, the Franciscans have ministered in the Holy Land. The Franciscans there provide care, presence, and service in the only land that is called holy. In the Holy Land, Franciscans lead vibrant faith communities, parishes, and schools. Franciscans help the poor, the needy, and the elderly. They preserve the holy places and conduct biblical and archaeological research. Franciscans welcome pilgrims just like you to the Holy Land. While we don't have time to take you on a full Holy Land pilgrimage today, we'd like to show you some of the major Christian shrines in the Holy Land. In Nazareth, the angel came to Mary to announce the good news that she had been chosen to be the mother of God. Verbum caro hic factum est, reads the tablet. In this small cave it was, here the word became flesh. The Basilica of the Annunciation marks the spot where the Son of God entered into human history. After a journey, Mary and Joseph stopped in Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. The Church of the Nativity is one of the most sacred shrines of Christianity. Here, every visitor must bow low to enter. Pilgrims can venerate the silver star that marks the place of Jesus' birth. Nearby, in the shepherd's field, a Franciscan church stands sentinel where shepherds watching their flocks by night were first surprised by a bright star and then a heavenly host of angels singing glory to God in the highest. Can you picture that starry night? How would you welcome a heavenly host of angels? Today, Nazareth is a bustling city. There, the Franciscans serve at the Basilica, preserving the places where Joseph, Mary, and Jesus lived. Nearby in Galilee are the locations for many gospel stories. In Cana, Jesus performed his first miracle, turning water into wine. On a hillside, Jesus multiplied loaves and fishes to feed his followers. He also taught them how to pray. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On the Mount of the Beatitudes, a Franciscan church marks the place for this teaching. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. On your monastery tour today, you'll see where we commemorate the Transfiguration. In Galilee, the Basilica of the Transfiguration atop Mount Tabor recalls how Jesus was transformed before his disciples Peter, James, and John. The ride up the mountain is a memorable experience for pilgrims. On the Sea of Galilee, the tranquil waters call out to pilgrims to come apart and rest a while. The nearby churches of the Primacy of Peter and other shrines are a reminder of how Jesus taught and lived among his disciples. Our journey, of course, leads to Jerusalem. Salvation history reaches its apex on these hills of Judea. You can walk the Palm Sunday route 
of the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. You can pray at the church of Dominus Flavit, where Jesus wept. You can walk in the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed, was betrayed, and arrested. The church of St. Peter in Galicantu recalls the arrest of Jesus before he was taken to be sentenced to die on the cross, and where Peter denied knowing Jesus. The way of the cross winds through the streets of the old city of Jerusalem. At the first station, the Franciscans send you on your way to Calvary. In the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, you can walk up to Calvary and touch the place of the crucifixion. You can go down to the marble slab where the lifeless body of Jesus was laid. And in the tomb of the Holy Sepulchre, you can see where Jesus rose from the dead and where the women found the stone rolled away. The Franciscans of the Holy Land have been entrusted with the mission to preserve the past and shape the future. Your visit here today is a taste of a pilgrimage to the Holy Land.